Guru Nation, thank you so much for watching. This is a um, quick video on CRC, right? And by the way, shout out to two organizations right now. Our CRC Academy is one. I'm literally texting a student as we speak that wants to join, asking me this very question, Chris, about salary. Clinical uh, research coordinator, perfect. salaries. How much can they make? Yep. And also, and I'll get to their specific case right now. It's as like an icebreaker. But also, as you see behind us, Save Our Sites Conference, it's so affordable if you're a site owner to bring your coordinators. And if you're not a site owner and you are a coordinator, to go yourself. So just go. Links underneath what, the video. Good conference to go to if you're seeking employment? Yeah. Well, well there you go. Most of seeking employment is networking. And this is a place where we're going to foster networking. All right. I'm enough. very passionate about this, actually. Um, the other conference is price out job seekers. Yeah, they pretty much price out everybody. They price out site owners. Yeah. Except like the most lucrative sites out yep. there. Yep. But anyways, this is not to go on rants about other stuff. Just our stuff. So we like it. We made it for a reason. The last thing we need was another business or organization to manage. But. Yep, we feel there's a need. Everything we do is accessible. In other words, nobody should be priced out. That's right. At least in my opinion. That's right. Uh, okay. Coordinator salaries. Maybe the icebreaker is this is a person doesn't have a bachelor's, but they have an associate's degree and they want to mm -hmm. be a CRA. And I said, okay, it's possible, but I don't want to lead you on. It's possible after like 10 years. Of? Of being a coordinator and mm -hmm. maybe after like seven years of a coordinator, you could be like in-house CRA mm -hmm. and then a CRA. It doesn't just happen like you take our class and you go be a CRA. That's for yeah. CRA Academy. A lot of people joining our CRA Academy lately have been nurses. They have a much better chance of getting hired. Um, As a CRA. Yeah. If you don't have a bachelor's degree, you're going to go the coordinator route. Yeah, right? you, have, and, you have no shot of being a a CRA. Right. So this person was saying, okay, I get you. Thank you for not misleading me like some of these other places were, which I'm not going to get into that, but I know who, name and names. who those are. They're saying, I was concerned about the pay for CRC. In, in Texas here, it's not very attractive at 25 an hour or 51K annual salary. And also, do I have to be on the same salary for 10 years till I become a CRE? So, so we got answers. <laughs> so just, just to finish my previous uh, thought, you, like Dan said, it's, it's much more work to become a CRA without a bachelor's degree. That work that you must put in, if you're not going to get the bachelor's degree, is you have to establish yourself in the industry and gain experience um coordinator is the best way to go probably to be a cra without a bachelor's degree and but it takes a lot of experience and if you were to get acrp certified as well that probably would help to become a cra as well perfect segue so my crcs are i hire all of them brand new i tell them all as soon as you can sit for the acrp test to get ccrc certified we will pay for it yeah so a lot of the, like these things about working at these smaller sites or even like medium sized sites, there's a lot of advantages. And yes, the pay is low at first, but it's not going to stay that way your entire tenure at that site. That was this person's concern. Well, and geography plays a lot into how much you're going to get paid, right? If, being that you're in Texas, I don't know where you're at in Texas. Do, do they say? Are they in a major metropolitan area? Uh, I'm guessing Dallas. Okay, but it's a guess. They're not saying where they are. Right? Well, based on the zip code or the area code, I'm guessing oh, Dallas. Okay. So there's a huge difference in pay for probably any industrial position between Dallas and LA, right? Or Dallas and Miami. Um, and again, if you're in Biloxi, Mississippi, there's going to be a huge difference between that and Dallas. Or you, my Arizona. <laughs> yeah. So or the low end of, of pay scales on a national level for everything, except right, doctors. Right. Except doc <laughs> I mean, I I know some 
some sites in LA that are paying six figures for a coordinator, six figure salaries. I know a site in Phoenix doing the same. I won't mention there who they are. So, but a lot of this has to do with a number of things, right? How experienced is the coordinator? Um, what roles are they managing in terms of being a coordinator? Um, if all you're doing is seeing the patient or all you're doing is entering data, you're, you're not going to make nearly as much as if you're basically a site director and a coordinator, right? Right, right. If you're doing that, you might get a six-figure salary, salary right. because of all the roles you're fulfilling. Right. Um, so that's a, that's a big component in your salary. And as in my guess, um, depending on who you're working for, uh, it's a lot like being a CRA in which if you want to raise, you have to quit and go elsewhere. I'm sure that there's a role to yeah. so that as well and being a coordinator. And it's also like value add. I mean, yeah, Chris brought it up, supply and demand for sure. Like in the markets where there's more demand because there's more sites there it's way more competitive and the smaller markets like where i'm at you arizona there's not a i mean if you don't work for my site there's nowhere else really to work other than the hospital there's the hospital but i mean that's it and nobody wants to work for these large institutions really so you're kind of like you don't have options right now education also matters so if you're somebody that does get ccrc certified Maybe you do have a master's. This person doesn't, but maybe you do. The site might want to keep you. Like the site I know in Phoenix that's paying six figures, their coordinator has a master's degree and they don't want to lose them to a CRO. But also that person's doing a lot of rating skills for them on like these psychometric scale. They're doing more than just coordinating stuff, like kind of what you alluded to, which by the way, you're not going to be able to do rating skills if you don't have a master's degree, but you can do more than a coordinator's job description without any degree. I mean, look at Rosario, who runs our site, right? I think she never went to college. She runs the whole thing. Well, she's one of the owners now, but that was not always the case. Mm-hmm. Right? And Well, I don't know if Rosario really handles too much site director type of tasks. But as you're saying, you certainly can do that without a degree, right? right. So, it's all the value add that you bring. So just get started. People are way too concerned about how much they're going to make when they first start out, especially when they're comparing CRC to CRA. I mean, they're, you're not going to get anywhere close to CRA starting salary when you're a CRC starting salary. But you yeah. people give way too much weight to that instead of being patient for a year or two really two years, and then the options open up. And even at smaller sites like mine, I mean, Chris, you and I are talking about, Chris is also part owner of Yuma Kalango Trials. We're finding ways to give our coordinators side gigs through Mm -hmm. our CRO to keep them and bonuses and incentives. Mm -hmm. So, And we don't really have to do that. I mean, but we do because we want to keep them there and want to keep them happy. So it just... There's a lot more than what you're thinking, right? Of just looking at job descriptions and seeing salaries. So with all that being said, as a starting coordinator with no experience, 51000 in my opinion, is not too bad. That's very good, actually. Yeah. 25 an hour for someone with no experience, I wouldn't pay. I mean, no. in Yuma, we, don't, we start them out way less than that. Yeah, and I'm in Southern California, same thing here. I mean, if you have no experience as a coordinator, you're going to start at 20 an hour. Is that where you're starting, at 20? Yeah. So, Cal? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So, I mean, it's just because you have no experience. Sure, once you have experience, your pay goes up, but you have to gain that experience. So right. if you're if you're able to find a position paying you 51000 or 25 an hour to start, no experience, no idea what you're doing, I think that's a great place to start Take it. that's a great starting place a year two years later you're gonna get more and even if it's not with the same company you're gonna have that experience now and then you could sit for the acrp certification and get that and work your way up slowly but surely and it's not unattainable to be a cra mm-hmm. with no bachelor's degree one of our other former coordinators casey figueroa mm-hmm. who mm-hmm. promised me she'll come on the podcast is a monitor now 
Yep. And that's after 10 years or so, almost exactly 10 years to this date of being a CRC, starting with me back in back in the day at uh, my other site. Yep. You have to prove yourself more without the, the degree is basically what it boils down to. And uh, FYI, 25 an hour is 52000 a year, not 51. So yeah, it's a good salary. Yeah. Not bad. Right. Anything else? CRC is in demand. Yep, very much. Very much so in any market. But sites do not want to waste time training. That's the problem. Mm-hmm. They want to That's hire, the problem. Well, you know, sites are businesses, and most of them, they want to pay you like you're research naive, but you have five years experience. I mean, that's what all sites want to do, right? But, I mean, they're also realistic. They know that they have to compete with the job market and pay you accordingly. So just be aware of that. Yeah, be aware of that. And um, uh, the job market is still hot. But again, the sites, the last thing site want to do, they'd rather be overworked than give more work and a slight pay raise to their existing staff than hire someone brand new who doesn't know what they're doing. So you're on the right track with going to CRC Academy, getting Mm -hmm. that real experience on your internship, going to places like SOS Conference, networking with people, and then applying because they at least know at that point, okay, I don't have to re-educate you on what research is. You already have a basic understanding. Now let's just give you some of our studies. Because every study you need to get trained on anyways. Let's be real. Even seasoned coordinators start from ground zero when it's a new study. All, everyone does. And if you're in Dallas, it's I wouldn't say it's highly competitive there, but there is plenty of research going on in Dallas. So right. finding, a, finding a position shouldn't be too difficult as a coordinator. All right. Like, subscribe, comment, share, guys. Thank you, Chris, for doing this. Thank you, Check out CRC Academy and the links, SOS Conference and the links. Good luck, future coordinators. Take care. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Subscribe.